So when you first get gussets and most of the time any metal, you always want to prep it and clean it really well, especially since I'm going to be TIG welding these gussets on. So I started off with a, about a 60 grit and then I moved to a hand sander and did a little bit of 80 grit. Um, that got, you know, the majority of that hard scale off. And I'm going to go ahead and throw them in a tumbler and the tumbler will help kind of get the rest of the scale off because I'm going to leave it in there for a couple hours just to save me time from grinding. So just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean them off with a little acetone, but you can see, look at how shiny they are. You don't have any of that black scale on, um, especially if you're going to be TIG welding anything. You don't want to be trying to weld through that because most of the time you'll get undercut or it'll kind of pop up and ruin your tungsten. So just more acetone prep. Go ahead and clean everything really nicely. So when you're tacking it, it's kind of just a, a game of playing to see where it fits best. Um, most of the time you'll have to do a little bit of bending, um, especially for, for TIG welding, you just want the best fit up possible. So I'm going to go ahead and place a big tack on that front there and that'll hold it in place and then I can kind of adjust and see where I need to move it from there. So now that I got it in a good spot, uh, I'm just going to add a bunch of big tacks to hold it in place. So you're kind of just going to jump around everywhere. Make sure you get all the major corners and everything so that when you do start welding, nothing lifts up or breaks a tack. So notice I'm using a clamp to kind of push that lip down even more so I have the perfect fit up. I'm gonna start welding them up now. Uh, notice that I'm just gonna be jumping around. I never sit in one place for a whole, you know, weld. I wanna kinda jump around just to spread the heat out on the spindle. Reduces your chance of warping anything. So I also just decided to weld in a little plug um, for the ABS ports because I don't have ABS on this truck and I didn't have the actual original plugs for it. And I figured if I just welded something, that would be the best watertight seal to keep uh, any water or moisture from getting inside the axle and destroying the bearings prematurely. So just a quick little TIG weld to cover that. Um, 
did you notice though that I made sure that it didn't stick too far down where the hub or anything spinning would be hitting it so just something to double check too before you weld those in All right, the next little gusset piece is this little guy. Um, someone, uh, Heavy Friction Works, actually recommended this, and it's a great little piece. Just strengthens up that front little lip since it's kind of a small, thin piece. So just add, you know, another layer of thickness. I think it's like either 3 eighths or quarter inch. I don't remember what I used, but a solid piece of steel just to cover that. I got that guy tacked on. I'm going to weld those up. Gonna finish up with a little bit of weave to finish up that last section, and that's the outcome here. Decent little TIG weld across there, should strengthen that front up a little bit more. Tundra spindles, done, complete. Welded this extra piece on to strengthen this top part. Um, came over and welded this guy for the ABS since I don't have that. And we have put together ready to go, two wheel drive for my Tacoma. So now I'm just gonna get a few more parts for the steering and these are ready to go on. So it's been a process. I took a little bit longer than I wanted, but these things are gonna be a great little upgrade. And then I'll be able to run the one inch uniball instead of the seven eighth inch that I currently build uh, for the Tacoma and 4Runners. I'm going to be running a one inch, which is the new conversion I built for the Tundra Sequoia uh, 04 to 06. So should be a little bit cooler, a little bit uh, stronger for my Tacoma. And then I get to test the new uniballs, but these things came out so good. I'm excited to get them installed.